Hey guys, Jason here again. Um, we're going to take a wee break from working on the MG this week and we're going to do a wee maintenance job on the El Grant. Okay, well last time we was out in the El Grand then I broke a spring on this driver's side and ordered two new replacements, heavy duty springs. It's meant to lift it two inches as well. So on top of the spacer we already have on the top of the shock, we should have the, a matching arch cap to the back now. So I'm gonna get this thing jacked up in the air and we'll see how we can get on. Okay, so we'll have this in the air now and it's on an axle stand in the middle and a jack just propping the outside just for safety as well and uh, it's pretty easy to get this out there's two bolts here uh, you gotta take a couple of cables off for the wheel speed sensor which is here but I actually might just pop this out as well because he's been out recently I'll just take it out to grease it and at least that'll pull out of the way and won't get broken uh, you need to take a drop link out and that's pretty much it so yeah I'll put you on time lapse and I'll get that done hopefully Right, there you go, that's everything disconnected down here. Wheel speed sensors tucked away over there. A bungee cord so the brick hose isn't straying too hard. Um, that's just hanging there now. And then we have three nuts up here. And that should all drop out. See here my spacer on top now. Originally this wouldn't be up here. Uh, this is just made for lifting the suspension that much. So I'll get this unbolted now. I would uh, suggest closing your eyes if you don't want to see this. Oh god, no. Oh yeah. Right. How much bigger is my new spring? Oh, well. Hopefully it won't be that hard. Right. And from there. basically completely across the spring right down so I think we're gonna go from there these are a little bit more for us
Well, there we go then. That was absolutely terrifying, but it's on there. Only one more to do now. Okay, so we'll have this back together again. Just went back together, same way I came apart. So that side's all done now. Still need to do the camber and the tracking. Probably gonna adjust it if it's gonna fill up too much. Uh, we have the other side stripped as well. Now, same formula as the other side. We'll need a new drop link though. There's a special place reserved in hell for whoever designed this um, bolt with an Allen key in the centre. It's a good idea when it's new, but when it's not new, it's a right pain in the ass to be honest with you. If I knew it was going to break, I would have cut it straight away. But anyway, we're here with this other one now. Hey Maggie. Come on. Right, this is the broken one. You can see here. So it's not going to be much recoil. Well, knock on this one, hopefully. Two seconds. You go over there, Maggie. I was wrong. That was actually more intense. Okay. This is what it looks like those springs in it then. Kind of levels it up, makes it sit fairly even. I did have to fit new drop links. I don't know if you can see them in there. Uh, there. And yeah. Probably wasn't even worth actually recording any of this here, but we did it anyway, and I'll waste some time editing it, and at least it's done. So thanks for watching guys, if you did watch, and I'll see you in the next one.